Yo, 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 you know what it is, it's your boy Snow, man. Three points, baby, you know what it is, conversion, let's get it. Rafael Haynes from the Three Point Conversion. Hey, Coach, congrats. Um, Coach, I remember, um, actually, I first started covering Georgia Tech the first year you started coaching. I would never forget you kept talking about putting Georgia Tech on the map, even um, getting the Krispy Kreme donuts for the um, fans and everybody mm -hmm. doing it in NIT. And um, you, you look at the city of Atlanta, and just to be frank, mostly they talk about Georgia football team. They don't give Georgia Tech enough credit. And like I said, you always talked about putting this back on a map. Now that, like you said, you played in front of this big audience and won a championship, do you feel like now that legacy is starting back that's been, that's always Georgia Tech basketball in just the city yeah. of Atlanta period? Yeah, Rafael, you know, and to Jeff Schultz's point about with Bobby Kremens, I mean, at the time when Bobby Kremens was the coach, it was the hottest ticket in town. And, um, um, and so we hope to get, you now obviously there's a lot of things you have to, you know, you're, you've got the, the Braves, the Falcons, you know, you got um, the Hawks. So there's a lot of things going on, but you want to start creating that interest and in winning these type of games, winning championships, going back to the NC2A tournament helps not only with the fan base, but how about recruiting? You, I don't think people understand the audience that was watching our, do you realize for the last 24 hours, all people were talking about was Georgia Tech playing Florida State? Moses Wright was on game day earlier today. It just Georgia Tech was all over the television. The exposure for that is so important in this league where you're trying to get to and then sustain. It's not easy to do. Just so darn proud of our young men. Uh, next one from Bryce Kuhn from 247 Sports. Coach, simple question. Uh, you didn't have to add any more motivation to these guys, but uh, you said they could do anything with the hair. So have they – What's the plan? Is that going to happen during the ice cream party afterwards or what, what's happening? And will it happen before uh, we talk to you again? Yeah. You know, I told the guys, if we want, this is a few weeks ago, if we won the ACC tournament championship, they could do it. Cause they are, you know, all of our guys are braiding their hair and doing things with their hair. And they says, coach, we need to braid your hair. I said, ah, if we win the ACC tournament championship, you can do what you want with my hair, but I'm a man of my word. So I, I have to, if that's what they want to do, that's what we'll do. I'm going to try to convince them to say, Hey guys, let's get through the tournament. How can I'm gonna let, 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 I'd rather keep my hair as it is. Maybe I'll say it's been a good luck charm. We've won eight in a row. I haven't got a haircut. Uh, how could I bribe you another way? How about because I'm gonna get you rings for winning an ACC tournament? I'm gonna get you rings. Can I get you an extra ice cream bar? Can I get you, you know, an extra, you know, a D, a, a, a Adidas Georgia Tech polo? What can I do in exchange for maybe waiting until after the tournament? But we'll see. It's 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 their call, it's 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 their team. I'm just kind of oversee it. It's their teams, so whatever they want to do, they can do. 